A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel, The Twin Flame Union. In this channeling session, I would be talking about the feminine sphere of losing love and versus masculine sphere of getting duped or getting used by someone he loves. Now, this is... Once again, a mirroring situation that has been happening for many people. On the surface, there could be 100 reasons that lead to separation. On the surface, there could be third party blocks. There could be, if no one has contributed to separation, like no family, it means that these two people have their individual issues, which they need to work out on. Like I personally know of cases where everything was going fine. Then the mother, father or the brother, sister or the best friend or somebody or the other poked their nose into the business of DF and DM. And, you know, one person was uh, someone like who would believe the other people more than they would believe the love, their lover. And they would just say, OK, I'm not going to be with this person. But why do they do that? That is one scenario. Second scenario is no one has told them anything. No one has told the feminine anything. No one has told the masculine anything. They are both very happy with each other. They both love each other. But both of them only keep thinking about something or the other. Their own personal misunderstandings happen. Like if the feminine says something to him, he perceives it differently. Or if he says something to her, she perceives differently. Or they also both try to play some kind of mind games where they're testing each other. Like he would purposely say something to her, something mean to her, just to see what she is going to say. But the feminine would really feel bad about what he has said to her. Like she would, she can't even believe that a man she loves can say something to her, something so weird to her. But maybe he is also saying this out of some really bizarre fear or some very a sensitive fear that he had but you know the words or the fear itself the choice of words obviously created a problem but even the fear itself was such fear that it cannot be understood by the other person for example the divine masculine used to like a girl like her a lot and he felt that it is true love when he was slightly younger before meeting the feminine and she found him attractive, good looking, whatever. Or she also made him feel that, you know, she likes him, she loves him and this and that. But after some time, he finds out that she is also sleeping with her, with his best friend. Or his friend, some other friend, if not best friend. Like, you know how guys talk. So the other one says, oh yeah, I know this girl. She, she has been hooking up with me. And he goes like, oh my God. And when he confronts that girl, she, for her, it's like, so what's the big deal? He says, well, you said that you like me. So what? I said that. Everyone says that. This is normal. So this gives a very big wound and a very big fear to the masculine. When he meets the feminine, without thinking anything, just to test her, he says, oh, do you think, do you believe in uh, partner swapping or... Uh, you know, going to those parties where, uh, you know, the man can sleep with uh, someone else, someone else's partner and the woman, vice versa. He just says that just to test what she's going to say. Like, is she going to be excited about it? He's not telling her clearly and openly that this has happened with me in the past. And this is the reason why I'm asking you because I was really shocked or really hurt or very heartbroken by a behavior of some person. So I just never don't want to, you know, face something like this ever again in my life. He doesn't say that because he doesn't know how to put it across to her. So he wraps it up in something like, what do you think about partner swapping? What do you think about wife swapping or husband swapping or blah, blah, blah. And the feminine listens to him and she goes like, what the hell is wrong with this man? Like, is he for real? He is the one who said that he loves me and he's asking me such questions. 
maybe she ignores it and she says yeah it's not a good thing it's just really horrible it's a bad thing no one should do it or i don't even believe in it and he takes a he heaves a sigh of relief he heaves a sigh of relief because he thinks okay she doesn't like it but then once again this fear crops up and he asks her this question very directly or he makes her meet some friend and he says how do you find my friend do you think he's good looking he's attractive she's like he's your friend why would i say that like why would i think that he's good looking or attractive or even if she doesn't say he's attractive she might just say yeah he's good looking he's nice and the masculine would be like oh no because it's his fear he would intensify it in his head right and he would start imagining all sorts of things or then he would just directly ask her would you sleep with my friend so now for his perception or for his reality for his world this is a major fear or this is something which has broken his heart or maybe even caused major disbelief in love because there are people who play these type of games for them it's very normal you know to say i love you i like you there are some psychos like that they say it very casually and once they are done with the person and the person says why would you say these things to me if you never meant it or if you never felt it so instead of making them feel bad they would say well i fell out of love or you are not good enough or you are not nice enough or you are this or you are that so the person who's going through this type of behavior does not know how to what to do because they have been manipulated to feel that they are the wrong ones to assume so much or they are the wrong ones to like someone this way so the other person's uh, cunning behavior has to be forgiven or forgotten but it's a wound and especially if it happened in teenage years then obviously it would have stay it would stay for a very long time it would stay if do, if it does not get healed then it would stay for a very long time if it gets healed all right fine on the other hand the feminine could be doing certain things which could have made the masculine feel like she is not the right person for him she does not love him he is just reading into certain reactions responses her behavior and obviously i'm not saying that this means that we should uh we should get some kind of uh, empathy or sympathy because these are things that need to be worked upon whether it's the masculine or whether it's the feminine it needs to be worked upon but in my area of work i have seen that even men who have feminine energy like when do men develop feminine energy or mother energy masculines also develop a feminine energy and mother energy that is the time when they awaken most people don't know this most people think that the masculine energy is uh, only the you know man energy or the physical fitness or realizing true love but you cannot realize true love until and unless you develop enough intuition enough kindness enough nurturing so whether it's a man or a woman on the ascension journey every single person has to renew or redevelop or recreate or awaken the mother energy or the divine feminine energy in them so when lot of men even who are in homosexual relationships when they come uh, for a reading or for therapy they have told me this that they don't no longer feel like getting into a sexual relationship with their dm why because they have you, do, you know they have realized that there is something called true love and true love is beyond lust true love does not require you to do all the things that the three dimensional people or the 3d reality people are doing you know true love is about uh, intimacy and intimacy has got nothing to do with an intercourse so intercourse and intimacy are not the same things in fact they are extremely opposite so both the feminine and the masculine they must have had intercourse with other people or they must have been physically uh, in close setups with people but they never had real intimacy and they both crave for real intimacy for one person it was honesty loyalty or you know just the feeling that she is a godly woman because most divine masculines they want their life partners to be uh, into source and when she tries to hide her spiritual side or she is not very confident about her spiritual side 
शी इज नॉट कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट इट बिकॉज ऑफ हर अपब्रिंगिंग वंस अगेन हैज बिन सो स्ट्रेंज एंड सो डिफिकल्ट एंड सो वियर्ड दैट शी फील्स दैट इट्स बेटर आई हाइड इट फ्रॉम अदर पीपल और वेन ही ऑल्सो क्वेश्चन इट लाइक सम ऑफ द थिंग्स लाइक इवन टू इन फ्लेम रिलेशनशिप्स और सम काइंड ऑफ असेंशन इन्फॉर्मेशन सम काइंड ऑफ चक्रा स्टडीज सम एक्टिविटी यू डूइंग मे बी द फेमिन इज इन टू एंड ही क्वेश्चन इट फ्यू टाइम्स मे बी ही इज क्वेश्चनिंग इट आउट ऑफ क्यूरियोसिटी ही वॉन्ट्स हर टू कन्विंस हिम और टू शो हिम दैट दिस इज राइट सम हाउ but he is also not in the developed mental stage where you know she would tell him that this is how it works and this is how it happens why don't you try it out and he will understand so he won't understand like that and that's the reason why universe takes him into those matrix realities those paths those trials and tribulations where he comes to the conclusion that intuitiveness is the right thing telepathy is the right thing unconditional love is the right thing he could be involved in the karmic relationship after going away from her where he could be physically very close to her like they could be having lot of sex or if not that they could be living together uh, you know in a close um, close gathering with other people or doing some kind of business together but he would still not feel any love for her whereas on the other hand he hasn't met the feminine for such a long time or they have not spoken and it was his decision to run away from her block her but he keeps seeing dreams about her or he's walking on the street and suddenly he sees a girl who looks exactly like her he stops over there but he realizes that that's not her that's somebody else and then he's like why am i thinking about her or some very fond memory comes back to him when he's really sad like he's very angry and something really funny or quirky she used to do or she had said to him at one time just comes back to him as a memory or as a flashback and he starts giggling or he is simply just check checking old pictures messages or he's just checking her out in present time also on social media and she's posted something which he really finds entertaining or amusing and it uplifts him so he realizes that he has not even met her or he's not even talking to her but she is such a huge part of his life she is a part of his daily routine somehow and how did she do that he doesn't know and again girls i know you must be very excited to hear this some of you not everyone some of you but please understand this does not strike him as a complete complete information until unless it does not happen very regularly so if it happens once or twice because sometimes we even think about those who have hurt us a lot of us do that we even think about false twins or some horrible relationships that happened in the past and we think about them and we go like yeah that person was like this or that so all of these experiences about the feminine all of these memories or all of these telepathic communications or all of this you know very close connection that he feels with her when it starts happening regularly as i said when it happens regularly and it becomes a part of his daily routine that's the time he can easily differentiate between what he feels for her versus what he could be feeling for either a person or if he's not involved in a person then any other activity that he used as an escape to run away from her so he's very clear in his mind at this point in time he reaches into this zone that i have misunderstood her she was actually technically the right person for me and i thought that she would also be like all those girls you know who would cheat on me or who would dump me or most importantly he does not want to get used by someone by using the name of love so he tries to give her signs and signals but he also is not developed at that stage so he never gives her a clear sign he never sits down to have a talk with her that you know in the past i went through this situation or that situation the feminine could have done it and look at the irony of the situation he never does that but she does it and yet he does not take it seriously so when she also had told him that you know i had a past relationship which was like this like that i was not happy with it and now after such a long time uh, or after doing all this inner work or going away living in solitude i found you and it's been a while that we are talking but i really want to trust you i hope you are not going to break my trust i hope you are not going to betray me and he does not take it seriously and he actually does betray her and he does break her trust like whatever reasons he had 
had at that time does not matter eventually what he did was wrong to her this is a awakening process is so why this type of dualistic uh, imaginary thoughts or dualistic even realistic thoughts like maybe uh, you're getting triggered by it or maybe it's actually happening for real but there is this thought pattern which needs to be healed so i have a very nice solution for anyone who thinks that they know everything about the twin flame journey or they want twin flame journey to happen very fast like they want it to happen uh, in just two three months or just two weeks or just like tonight only if today the masculine ran away they want him to come back tomorrow there are so many people in this journey right now and there are so many people who have put their heart and soul into their ascension and there are so many people who i feel are very wise and very mature that they understand that lust and love are not the same things lust in fact has got nothing to do with love and if you are looking for lust related channelings or if you are looking for uh 3d love because what is 3d love we need to understand the 3d love is more like a fairy tale or it's more like a happily ever after kind of a solution they give or the kind of illusion they distribute to people via movies and this is all being done by reptilian extraterrestrials and you can read about them they are the shape shifters they are the people who rule the mainstream media they run the mainstream media they run all the new channel channels they do they are doing a lot of things they just want people to get stuck in the lower frequency the lower vibration so they make people feel that lust is love but lust is not love even why you why you are having so many physical sexual relationships with people is because in childhood you never got the true platonic intimate love which means when when it is true love pure love which is coming from a mother or a father figure who just love you for being who you are they hug you a lot they kiss you a lot they hold you with love you know there is no lust in that type of a love it's pure unconditional love they uh, rock you when you're trying to sleep you know or when you crying they wipe your tears they kiss your face they do all those nice things and this is pure love and they feed you they dress you up they protect you from negative energies they protect you from any problem that could come back in those days when facilities were not that great so there used to be normal beds and if the child used to wet the bed in the night the child would pee the mother would make the child sleep on the dry side and she would sleep on the bed, the wet bed so you can imagine that is the type of true love but imagine you've been raised in a family or you've raised you've been raised by narcissistic parents who did not love you the way they should have loved you they neglected you they ignored you you were crying in the pram or you were in the uh, cradle for too long hungry unloved not touched not hugged not kissed and they are away somewhere or they've just made some nanny come over and the nanny is busy talking to her boyfriend there are these horrible videos and uh, that have leaked out how nannies have ill treated children and parents had no clue on the contrary they were paying the nanny because they did not have enough time they had, they were busy making money so busy making money that they did not have time for their own child or so busy living a social life that they did not even care about what the child wants in many cases they would force the child to do so many things that the child doesn't want to do in many cases if the child was different different than other kids they would think that he or she is a burden or he or she is stupid or he or she would bring bad name to them even when the child is just a baby or just a child just by looking at some traits or just by reading the energy which does not match with materialistic parents so the materialistic society has created materialistic parents who only think about themselves and then they don't love the child unconditionally the child goes through a lot of trauma the parents are fighting the mother is going with another man the father is going with another man there are all these cheating scandals happening one person is either in too innocent crying and crying and crying and waiting not stepping out of a bad marriage not being independent being very codependent and many times parents do this horrible thing that they cry about their problems or they're very helpless in front of the child so 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल द चाइल्ड हैड सम वेरी बैड एपिसोड इन स्कूल मे बी अ टीचर वॉज अब्यूजिव और स्टूडेंट्स वर अब्यूजिव और सम फ्रेंड्स और सम वन स्टॉक दैम और सम वन वॉज सेक्शुअली अब्यूजिव और सम स्ट्रेंज थिंग हैपन्ड एंड द चाइल्ड कम्स बैक होम ही और शी वॉन्ट्स टू टॉक टू द मदर एंड फादर बट मदर एंड फादर आर टू बिजी फाइटिंग As soon as the child enters, the mother starts crying in front of him. Starts saying, "Your father did this to me. Your stupid father. Your bloody father. This, that." Or she's just a very helpless person, like crying in the way that I can't do anything. I'm so upset. What do I do? Where do I go? I'm going crazy. And she starts weeping and howling in front of the child. And the child who had to be caressed and cuddled and told that, "Don't worry, I'll go and talk to your teachers," or "Don't worry, I'll fight for you." But don't worry, my son. I'm with you. You don't need to go to that bad place, or you know, telling the boy or the girl that I am not going to leave those people alone, happy because they abused you. And she goes out to search for them. She runs out of the house to search for the abuser. She goes to the police, or she does. She takes some step, but nothing of that sort happens because the mother and father are too busy crying over their own problems. They are unhealed. They are wounded. because of their own wounds because of their own upbringing patterns because of their own lack of love and intimacy why because everybody is made to believe or made to think or made to assume that lust is love they don't know what love is basically so when the feminine and masculine have been raised in these type of atmospheres where one is scared of losing the one she loves or one has been neglected so much and the other has been given only conditional love where he was always used he or she was always used and duped even by the parents you know like if for example there is no problem of money or finances or the parents are not separating or going anywhere but they are very manipulative they are even together because you know i have seen this in rich societies that guys and girls or men and women they don't get married they do a merger you know they come together because they come from wealthy families wealthy well to do backgrounds so they have some kind of deal in their own minds that yeah i should not get married to someone who's low in my status or vice versa for both they could be good looking they could be attractive that doesn't matter but they marry only those people who match up to their social status all right and when they do that obviously they are unhappy and since these people have no dearth of money they can always go for a vacation every time they get bored they can buy things to just kill their time so after few years the best thing to do the best thing to kill their boredom is to have a child so all unhealed and wounded people they are having children when they get bored in their marriage even the doctors or therapists therapists advise them the same thing when couples go for counseling and they tell the therapist that i'm not happy or i'm feeling bored or i don't know what to do i'm not interested i don't feel like having sex or i don't feel like you know doing this doing that the therapist would say oh you must have a child then the child will bring joy in your life the child will do this the child will do that so even before the child is born there is so much pressure on the child to entertain those parents or to do what the parents want to do the this type of these type of children they are normally smothered with love and that's why they end up becoming the masculines now sometimes this whole wealthy situation may not even be happening it could be very simple that two people got married because of many reasons that matched maybe it was the ethnicity maybe it was the culture maybe it was the you know their own parents were friends with each other so they thought yeah why not extend our families because we are good friends we hang out together we do kitty parties together or we do we play some sport together or whatever you know it is so they come from those backgrounds where they feel that marriage should happen because of 3d aspects matching with each other they don't know what soul connection is or what love is and this is also reason why in many cases the masculines and feminines separate because their parents would say no 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 she's not the right person for me for my son because she doesn't match up to our expectations or our whatever we are you know so such people also they have children and then what happens to the children the children are also abused somehow or they are unloved because the parents are also running a fake marriage they are running a fake show a false living in a false reality and they don't care for the children like they do pretend or they do 
do a lot of things for the child but they want the child to do what they want to do because that's exactly what they did so if there is an awakening in this type of template even if one person gets awakened say the masculine is at the end of this cycle or at this chain and he awakens he obviously will awaken when the feminine will awaken okay so it's like the mirror masculine is the mirror that's the best way to say it not that they don't do any inner work or they don't go through anything but they always follow or they always mirror the shakti because they are the shiv and without energy without power there is no happiness this is a simple concept okay so if one masculine also awakes in this long chain of fake marriages just producing reproducing 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 and then putting so much pressure on their child to carry forward their legacy this creates a lot of pain and then on the other side maybe they never had the child with the thought that we are getting bored or the marriage is not going anywhere they are just having children maybe they are having many children because they feel that we are a family and in some cases even having a child or having children is the must is a must like they would say these things like at the age of 18 you should be married by the time you are 20 you should have at least one child by the time you are in your mid 20s you should be settled with this 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 you should have this these many materialistic goals should be achieved right and then they are just trying to do that and then comes along the feminine who doesn't do anything that all her ancestors had been doing so she is the one who will not only awaken herself but she will heal so many people in the background because she'll refuse to do any of these things she will say i don't want to marry because of this 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 reason i don't want to have children because of this reason i don't want to get a job like into where i don't enjoy or i don't want to settle down over there so all of her rebellion initially that she creates all this havoc or rebellion this is all seen like uh, some kind of a uh, madness but later on when she heals and when she awakens fully everyone realizes that what she's saying is the real thing what she's doing is the real deal so the the children in the next generation or the coming generation who are already born they will have a lot of relief and not only this type of feminine and masculine team will help so many of their own people they'll also help many people otherwise also so this is how you ascend ascension does not mean only you have ascended ascension means that you will help many people ascend just by being truthful and sincere so these two types of fears have to be released by the feminine a is the fear of like if i love someone they are going to leave me and b if i love someone they are going to use me on that note i will close the channeling session thank you so much for being here with me one love and peace out